Hello and welcome to a FIFA 18 tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to rename stadiums and use them in your career mode uh, so that you can get a more authentic, a more immersive experience while you guys are playing career mode. Let's get into that now. Sega! All right, let's get into this tutorial. First and foremost, you need to go across to the Customize tab, and then I want you to go into Profile. When you go into Profile, uh, you'll generally probably only have one squad already, like, unless you've uh, you know made any alterations yourself. But what I want you to do is go into Save Squads first and foremost, and we're gonna set up a new squad here. So uh, Create New Squad, and uh, I want you to call this one uh, Stadiums. So this will uh, be what you can use throughout the uh, you know, the, the season of FIFA 18. Uh, we'll call it stadiums. I've already got one called stadium, so I'm just gonna put two in here for this tutorial. So that'll get saving away. Now what this means is this is the latest squad uh, that you've set up. So any changes that you make will automatically get saved to this current save. All right, now I want you to back out and I want you to go across to edit teams. Now, first and foremost, let's have a look at the stadiums. If we look at Barnsley, we can see there that it says Ivy Lane and Ivy Lane. We're gonna to wanna to adjust that, but not just yet. First of all, I want you to back out, exit without saving, back out once again, and I want you to go ahead and reset all squads. So uh, this will just give you a nice, fresh, clean slate. That's done and dusted. Then I want you to go and download the latest update. So what this will do is if you're doing this, say, post January and there's been transfer action, uh, this will give you the latest up-to-date transfers so that they are in the game for you. Now, what do we need to do next? We need to go ahead and start doing our stadiums. So if we go across the stadiums, and the first one that pops up, obviously uh, the, uh, the Premier League isn't here because those are all licensed clubs, so you can't actually rename or change any of those ones. It's all non-licensed clubs from anywhere around the world you can do this for. Um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna do Barnsley here. So we go into Barnsley, and we can see there at the moment it's Ivy Lane, uh, capacity of 30,000, and the stadium name is Ivy Lane. That is the default that FIFA has set up for you. But I like an authentic experience. I've gone through, I've done this for our Forest Green Rovers series, and I've updated every single team here in League One, at League Two, and at the Championship. So here is how you do it. The best thing you can do is go onto Wikipedia, first and foremost, so you can get yourself the stadium name. So the Barnsley one is, of course, Oakwell. So we go in here, we clear this out, and uh, we call it Oakwell, and that will give us uh, the stadium name in there. Now, what I also like to do is uh, make sure that the capacity of the stadium is a little bit, you know, make sure that it's close to the current real life one. You, you know, you want that authentic experience. So if I take a look here at Wikipedia, uh, it's 21,000 uh, capacity. So Ivy Lane's probably a little bit too big here. And now because I've pressed cro across, the stadium name has changed. So the best thing you can do first is do the capacity. So, um, so there's a 19,000, you know, it's only a thousand or so off here at Court Lane. So we'll use the Court Lane Stadium here for Barnsley and uh, we'll re-enter that Oakwell. So making sure that you're doing the capacity first so that you're not backtracking like I just have, like an absolute idiot. But um, you know what, we're doing this on the fly. There's a little bit of delay in the menus this year, but uh, we'll make do with that. All right, so Court Lane, Oakwell, 19,000, Barnsley is done and uh, we can now back out and make sure that we apply and exit. So that'll do a little bit of a save up on that stadium's one. All right, let's go across here, Birmingham City. Now, let me have a look here at St. Andrews, 30,000. So if I go in here, capacity, 24,000. Stadium El Clasico is probably close, but uh, you know, is that really an English ground? Not really, you want a bit more of an authentic experience if you can. So we'll, uh, we'll just punch through this a little bit more. Uh, that's probably not very English. You know, you're, you're trying to get that immersion, that experience of the, you know, playing around the joint. Um, 27,037. All right, Forest Park, 28,000. That's probably close enough. Now, uh, Birmingham City, what's there called? St. Andrews. All right, so we'll clear that out. So that's two stadiums done. So you could go in and definitely pick one of those two sides to play career mode, but you know that the other uh, stadiums that you do actually go in here and uh, update will be done as well. So we apply and exit that one. All right, so we've done Birmingham, we've done Barnsley. Let's back out. Now, what I want you to do is back out once again, 
go to your profile and save the squads. So we'll save it as our stadium or stadiums two as I've done here. Overwrite. Now let's just do a quick check. Go back to edit teams, back into our stadiums, check on Barnsley. Yes, it is Oakwell. Uh, we can just exit without saving on that one. All right, so once you've gone ahead and done all of the stadiums that you want to do, you kind of want a backup file because you don't want to do this again. It took me over an hour just to do all of the English teams. So you want a backup save that you can use over and over again. So uh, what I, I tend to do here, uh, never ever reset all the squads once you've got your stadiums one listed up, but you can still download updates and uh, it won't change any of the stadium names. So if there are transfers that do open up, you can still download the updates and it won't change the stadiums. Just never reset all squads. But we need a backup, all right? So um, the Stadiums 2 at this current stage is the current um, squad that you are using. So if you went in and made any club transfers or anything like that, it would start hurting that Stadiums um, transfer squad that you've got set up at the moment. So you don't want to do that, you want to create yourself a backup. The best way to do this is go back into your profile and uh, then we will go back and uh, we will load the squad and we will load squads one. So as long as squads one, uh, which you should have by default, is the, the team sheet and the likes. If we go back into edit teams and the stadiums, we go into Barnsley and it's gone back to Ivy Lane. So that squad isn't there, all right? It's not there. So the only way you're going to do anything with um, your custom stadium names is to load up that stadiums. So if we go back out, just make sure you're following along here. Profile, load squads, and uh, we load up the stadiums to back out. We go back to our edit teams now. Our stadium should be back in play. There we have Oakwell. All right, so I hope you've covered that. If you've got any issues, do hit me up in the comments. Um, all right, so once we've done that and we've gone through and we've put in all of our teams, now we need to get ready to do a career mode. So what you want to do when you're about to start your new career mode, you want to load your squad first and uh, load up stadiums too or stadiums or whatever you've called it. And that means that is the current customized squad that is going to be used in the career mode but you have to do one vital thing all right so let's go jump into career mode now and i'll uh, show you what you need to do to make sure those stadiums are working for you all right so we enter in a new manager career mode yep no problem uh choose any of those crap if you want to use them i don't um and then we're going to go and pick our team so we we used barnsley um so we'll go to the championship and we'll pick barnsley no worries no, it doesn't matter about the manager name. Okay, this is the most important part to get this thing. Usually you would just go download latest and get into the thing, but what you need to do here is go across and use current customized. What this will do is use your current customized squads if you've made any transfers yourself, created players uh, and, the, and, the and the stadium name. So you can see there it's automatically put in that Oakwell name there. So as soon as we jump into this career mode now um, and we take on well, with Barnsley, it will give us that Oakwell stadium. Uh, I'm going to jump into this one and uh, see if we can find Birmingham so that we know that their stadium is in the game as well. All right, so uh, if we look here, we uh, have a home game here, and you can see at the top left there that it says Oakwell. So we know that this custom stadium names has worked there for our home ground. Um, the Birmingham game is just too far away for me to simulate forward and uh, double check that one. But uh, if you've watched any of the Forest Green series, you can see there that all of the stadiums have been put in. So uh, that is how you do that. There's one other thing that I need to cover before we finish up this tutorial. So we'll back out to the menus and show you one other thing that you need to do. Right, so one thing you will need to keep an eye on is uh, obviously we've made that stadium's custom squad and we want to keep that as a backup version. So uh, if we go in here and we, now we load up squads, always go back and load up squads number one. That way you won't be saving any, you know, you won't be saving over that stadium's uh, backup and you've always got it there. So just load up squads one always. So that is always your current squad and uh, you've always got that stadium's one to go back to. But Hopefully this has helped you out, this tutorial on uh, naming your stadiums. Feel free to go through and name every stadium in the world if you really want to spend the hours doing that. But um, yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed that one. Hit like if you did. Uh, subscribe if you're new around here for more FIFA content. 
and we will see you in the next video. If you've got any questions, queries, feel free to leave it in the comment section down below and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. Or if you want to con contact me more directly, you can uh, follow me on Twitter at SparringDK. That's where we'll leave it today. Thank you very much for tuning in. I'm Sparring DK. It's five o'clock somewhere and you have a good one.